My father and I do not have a relationship. He was an alcoholic, homeless, and abusive with me. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Is this James Butler? Yes, it is. Can I ask you what you're calling about? This is James Butler. You are James Butler? Yeah. But you can't be James Butler because I'm James Butler. No, I'm your son. Huh? Oh my god, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too, man. I'm so damn, man. I'm so proud of you, man. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much, man. I'm so, I'm so, I'm freaking proud of you. You don't know, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling me, man. Of course. I think about I think about you, you every. I mean, I'm not saying it's just a thing because it's good to say or whatever, but I do. I think about you every day. You, you know, what's going on with you and stuff like that because I know, you know, your you know, it's uh, it's pretty tough. Mhm. Mm you know, and um, and I'm proud of you, man. You got it. I mean, you just and do what you wanted to do, man. And, that's good to hear. I'm so, I'm so, um, proud of you, man, and I'm praying about you. And, um, you know, I love you to death, man. I love you, too. I just wanted to call you because I feel like I'm an adult now and I can, like, make decisions for myself. And you can't really let go and grow in life if you have so much, like, resentment in your heart. And I just, yeah. I'm out of time in my life where I just want to forgive and move on and talk about things because they still need to be talked about, but at the same time, move on and grow and because I already lost one of my parents and I don't want to lose another one without having a relationship with them. Like, that's fantastic, but I, 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 I don't, I know, um, uh, I took you through some difficult times, you know. I'm sorry for those times and whatnot, but I ain't trying to find those excuses and whatnot, you know. I wasn't very right, but you know, I never stopped loving you. I think that I did turn out well because even though life has been hard, I feel like if life was easy, I wouldn't have been as strong as I would. And as strong as I am and I couldn't live out here, you know, because it's hard living out here, but I have nothing is harder than what I've gone through in the past, you know? So I also thank you because even though it was rough, you still made me a strong person. Well, hey, I know, I, I know, I know you, you, you strong, you know, and, uh, and I always knew that you were special. I just got myself developed together, got over that alcohol, you know, staying up here with mama now, I got a job coming up in a couple of weeks. That's good. I love you so much. I love you too. Alright. All right. Talk to you. Okay, bye bye. There are so many emotions that I'm feeling right now and I think one of the biggest emotions that I'm feeling is a sense of release. And then we talked more and he apologized and told me he understands but doesn't have any excuses for the shit that he's put me through. The abuse, the alcohol, the this, the that. But he's still proud of me and he follows me and he's wanted to talk to me and that just opened the doors of all that resentment and I felt like I walked through and by the end of the phone call I felt like I loved my dad again. A hint of thought for you that if there's anyone in your life that has done you wrong, treated you wrong, put negativity into it, even though it's hard, it, like, it took me like nine or ten years to ever speak to him and hear why he did what he did. There's usually a reason and give the person the chance to. Because my dad is older and if he ever died without ever being able to speak to me or say all the things that he said today, I would feel so horrible. So I think there's so much shit going on in the world right now, but the only thing that we need right now is love.